Well, he witnessed a hit and run crash, and that may have saved the life of a high school student. Now that witness is the best clue police have to finding the person responsible. Andrea Lucia, live in front of Garland High, where that crash happened. Yeah, this street right here can get pretty busy, but it was virtually empty at 6 o'clock Monday morning. Steven C. Fuentes says he and his mother were the only ones around. They were sitting at that stoplight back there when they say they saw a speeding truck hit a student in this crosswalk. He just flew by. Steven C. Fuentes says it was his mother who saw the impact. My mom was like, that truck just hit the girl and she started crying. By the time he looked over. That the truck just backing up and I saw a person just laying there on the floor. It didn't even look like a person, to be honest. In the street was 18-year-old Natalia Estrada. She was struck crossing the road on her way to school. So you could see the light flashing yeah, you like could this? Yeah, you could see the light flashing. Yeah. That flashing light suggests she was in the crosswalk when a pickup hit and threw her. And she was over there. Several yards away. He didn't even stop to look. He just put it on reverse and left. Yeah, he just... That's no heart. Like, that's a guy with no heart. Sefuente says he immediately dialed 911. Then he and his mother stopped and walked into the street to shield Estrada from passing cars. I got like shaky, like nervous, because you don't see that every day. Estrada's family says she broke half a dozen bones, injured internal organs, and even cut an artery. Today, though, she's improving. This is a miracle. For her to have this much damage and to come out of this like this, it's a miracle. A few more minutes would have passed and she would have, she would have died. Sequentes now believes there's a reason he and his mother were here that day. God put us on that spot to, you know, to help her out. A C point that says it was a silver or gray pickup truck that was responsible. He says it went into reverse and then took off down Forest Lane here. Garland police today, meanwhile, expanded their search for surveillance video in the area that may have captured an image of that truck. Reporting live in Garland, Andrea Lucia.